God is committed to helping us as his children. And whenever we need help, we can trust him to come to our aid. Romans chapter 8 verse 26. Likewise, the Spirit also helps in our weaknesses. For we do not know what we should pray for as we ought. But the Spirit himself makes intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. The past Sunday was Pentecost Sunday. And Pentecost was the time when the Holy Spirit came upon the disciples of Jesus and gave them power to be witnesses unto the Lord. For days they had been praying and waiting for this moment and the Holy Spirit came and empowered them. The Holy Spirit is also called our helper. Jesus called him the helper. And the word he used uh, to denote helper is one who stands with you against something. One who stands together with the believer. A helper is one who stands by your side. That's what the Holy Spirit is. He stands with us. He stands around us. He is with us at every time. And the passage here says he stands with us in our weaknesses. So when we are weak, there is a helper around us. And he's called the Holy Spirit. And he helps us. God has not left us alone to struggle on our own and to try to fix our own problems and and fix our own weaknesses. When we are weak, there is strength for us. And that strength is from the Holy Spirit. The good thing about the Holy Spirit is that he never takes a vacation. He never leaves and comes later. He doesn't take a night off, doesn't take a week off. He's with us always. Jesus says he'll be with you always to the end of the age. So you have to be assured that at every point and every time in your life as a child of God, the Holy Spirit is present and he's present to help. And he helps us particularly in our prayer life. And when you look at the passage, it says we don't know what we should pray for as we ought. And many times, you know, in life, you're you're not really sure what you should pray for. Uh, You know what you want, but you don't know how to pray for it. And sometimes you don't even know what you want. And in those times of uncertainty, when we feel our prayer is inadequate, our prayer is not powerful enough, uh, we, we don't know the right words to say that the Holy Spirit comes to our aid and he empowers us and he gives us the ability to express the innermost desires we have in the most appropriate way. The Holy Spirit helps us to pray. And so as we think of God's help, don't only think of him holding you from behind and holding your hand. Also think of him as the one who helps you to pray and encourages you and gives you the ability to say the right things that are right there in line with God's will. May God give you help in your prayer life. May he strengthen you in prayer. And may the Holy Spirit overshadow you, empower you to do signs and wonders to the glory of God in Jesus' name. I am Pastor Mensah Otabel. Shalom, peace, and life to you.